Hi, it's Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to illuminate lucky four-leaf culvers or shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. These are really easy and really cute and they look really cute thrown around if you did the pot of gold to lay around the pot of gold or put in the pot with the gold if you wanted to. Before we get started, I was going to show you a few things that I've gotten lately and this was really cool. I got this off of eBay and they didn't have very much on it because it has my initials AF and I guess a lot of people don't have that initial. Um, it's a full size red work. Some people call it turkey work. Um, it was would have been a, like a, either a piano cover or it's probably a bath towel. I'm going to put it up on my armoire in my bedroom. It's really long when I fold it all out and it has it just looks really pretty. My bedroom's all maroon, but I think that the red and will sort of blend in and look sort of maroonish. Also, the other thing I got, one knows my favorite buttons are from the Incomparable Buttons Company. And I thought these were darling, and I went ahead and ordered two sets of them. And they came, I had to wait a while, they come from South Africa, because um, I ordered from the their Etsy shop. These aren't the cute little rabbits. That's, that's really darling. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're really cute. And then I also got these little fat penguins. They had skinny penguins too, but I like the fat ones. And then they were really sweet, and they sent me this whole which I got real sad because I promptly dropped on the floor and broke one, but I think I can glue it. They sent me some free like, sample pieces. There's a teddy bear. I like the little flower. And a heart. I have some of the red hearts. And then it's just a triangle. That's neat. And I ordered some six other bigger ones that are for a coat that I'm going to be making, but that's for a video, so I got those over there with that. But those were really cute, and I thought, I was gonna, I thought I'd show you that. If you're interested in going and looking at their, um, you go to buttonmad.com. You look, just look for incomparable buttons on Etsy. But buttonmad.com is their other website where they have their full catalog. Okay, so let's look at the shamrocks. I did some in plain green. I did one that's just plain, and then I sort of was experimenting. I did one that had like just... I did the lighter green on there. I'm not sure if I like that. And then I started out using this lighter green and this yarn was a nightmare. I got this in a grab bag from Darn Good Yarn a long time ago and I just really haven't had a reason to use it. And it really was a nightmare. I wrapped around each, wrapped around the yarn are these, you can't see it, are these very fine, see if I can find one, here's one very fine threads and it's wrapped around so loom knitting it the little threads got caught constantly and I was having to take my little embroidery scissors every row and go around and snip the little weird threads and you can see they're like sticking out here's one so that was really annoying so I ditched that plan. I finished the one and then I was like, I've got to find some other green. So I went digging around and I found this other skein of green that I had. So what did I do? I used the inner saw, inner little loom that I use in my flower loom to make like the sock booty things that um, I will link to. And I knitted about five and uh, one fourth inches long, two, basically two tubes. And I gathered up the ends and I sewed both of the ends. So you have two of those. And then I braided, uh, I think I just did three or maybe I did six strands. Um, about four and a half inches long. I just made a braid out of the same yarn. And then to make the four leaf clover, you're just going to take a yarn with a knot and you can come up under the top one. You can do a crisscross and do your yarn up underneath there and then I wrapped it around and tightened it and made a stitch just pulled it around and then you can go up in there and stitch it a few times so then you have your your floral leaf clover and then to attach my little braid. I sort of just stuffed it under one side there and again went up just made sure I got 
through the braid. It's just sort of a playing around with it. And then I went through to make sure it was secure and sewn on there. And if you wanted to do the decorations, I just did like a, I didn't even go all the way through. I just ran through the top layer, just did a running stitch up and down through there. But I think I like the plain ones better. And if you're doing different shades of gray, green, you could, you know, mix them up and have them scattered around. I thought it would have been really cute to do a little girl's like hair bow. If you had like a different color green and make the bow and uh, make it a little bit smaller and then do the center of the bow, the little shamrock, that would be cute. You could also, if you were making, like if you had a solid colored scarf that you could just attach this to the ends and then you could remove them after St. Patrick's Day, that would be cute too. That's all there was to it. It was a really simple project and it was really fun and I was really trying to think of what else could go with my pot of gold for a little centerpiece like on the table and the shamrocks came to mind and so that's all it was to to it just two tubes and a braid and it didn't take any time at all to get them all together so this has been Angie from Canterbury Trail Farm I hope you like this little project I'll talk to you later bye